played at uh, Wireless in 2012, I think, um, and it was uh, in Hyde Park then. Um, but it was a great show, and it was sort of right in the midst of just full album touring. So I think we were doing pretty much every festival in the country that year. And um, Wireless definitely stood out because it's like it's one of the only London sort of festivals. So and it's we're, we're from London, so it's great to play our hometown. <laughs> oh God, I, I literally have no idea. I don't. I, I just wouldn't want to be stuck in a lift. I don't think. I don't think. I think. I think if I was stuck in a lift on my own, it would make it a lot easier. So I think if I was stuck, <laughs> if I was stuck with someone else, it'd become a really awkward situation. So. Um, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna buck a trend here and say just no one. I'm just gonna be miserable and say on my own basically. It's a level 42 album, a cassette tape. I don't know what it was called, and I. <laughs> <laughs> I bought yeah. a um, placebo album when I was like when I was young. Actually, it might have been their first album, or uh, maybe it was the second. Every me, every you. I think it was yeah, uh, the yeah. second. Uh, that's sort of the, one of the early ones I remember by. I think when I first ever got a CD player, though, I got. Um, I didn't buy it, but I got given. Now dance the best of '94, which uh, oh, which had some absolute classics on it. I don't think I bought it for myself, but I remember the first album being Bad, Michael Jackson. I was yeah. obsessed with him. The first actual ta cassette tape or any music for my own I got given must have been like late '80s. I was probably four years old or something, and my auntie had made me a um, a Beatles compilation on cassette tape, and that was pretty much sort of all I listened to for probably the next two or three years. So. Um, so the Beatles is my sort of my earliest memory in growing up, you know, childhood sort of yeah, obsession, basically. There was really? a guy at a recent oh, no, show in that, Germany yeah. who had he'd come in fancy dress <laughs> yeah, as a shower. That, that <laughs> he had like a full shower outfit with a curtain round and then a thing on his head and then a little rubber duck. Yeah. And he was in like in a bath sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah that I think that probably that wins it. Nice. it was, we got really we, someone weird. someone backstage at um, a festival was dressed in a penguin suit and said they were us, wasn't it? And then like uh, oh, they got interviewed. Yeah. And then they they did a, they did a lot of press dressed in a penguin suit, saying they were one of the members of Nero. So <laughs> there, all these interviews got out of this this guy in a penguin suit, just you know, yeah. Oh, they were quite good at. It. They probably did a better job at interviews than we did. <laughs> yeah.